The new minister responsible for the construction of the Bahamas Agriculture and Marine Science Institute is not opposed to a public investigation and probe. State Minister for Works and Urban Development, the Honorable Arnold Forbes, says the government has nothing to hide and will not stand in the way of the public finding out about the contracts issued for the facility. Janaya Noel Ferguson tells us tonight that along with the probe is a request by the nation's leader to dig even further. The request for a public hearing into all contracts concerning BAMSI is being positively received by the Minister of State for Works, Arnold Forbes, who maintains that the government has nothing to hide concerning the multi-million dollar North Andros project still under construction. This government is about transparency. It's about putting all the cards on the table. We have nothing to hide in what has gone down at um, uh, BAMSI. And we believe that we'll be vindicated at the end of the day as far as that is concerned. St. Anne's MP Hubert Chipman, who also serves as chairman of the Public Accounts Committee, made the request for the hearing to be publicly televised. Prime Minister Perry Christie, however, charged that the committee should look into all contracts made under the former administration. Chipman says the Prime Minister has no jurisdiction on the probe of the committee. We are dealing with BAMSI and only BAMSI at this particular time. I hear the Prime Minister very often get up in the House of Assembly and said, oh, we are the majority, just ask, we will, they will give us. Information have not been forthcoming. So therefore, we wanted to make it public. And what's wrong with making it public? I think every Bahamian would support that idea. What the government have to hide? The Prime Minister also suggested that there be a review within the ministry. The State Minister of Works agreed. There are some irregular, irregularities that have been noticed. And, you know, we are in the process, the Deputy Prime Minister and myself are in the process of correcting those. And, you know, but, but any, there's a consequence for every action or every inaction, I, w I would say. And I believe that the Deputy Prime Minister will address those issues very um, uh, succinctly outlining what has happened and the actions to be taken and the future stopgap measures that will be put in place to ensure that something like this never happens again. These are things that probably have been happening for a very long time. The, the Deputy Prime Minister will put a stop to it. Meantime, many have recommended for heads to roll because of the Bamsi debacle. Forbes says that that option is also being considered by the Deputy Prime Minister. Now the Speaker of the House will decide if that hearing will take place and if it will be made public. Janae Noel Ferguson, ZNS Network News.